I'm Linda Peterson and welcome to Friendly Plastic TV. I'm so glad that you are joining me in my creatively messy studio. Yeah, usually I kind of straighten it up for these pro these um, segments, but I thought today I'd be a little more realistic on what my workspace really looks like when I'm doing mixed media projects because I've been making a lot of mixed media projects lately and so all the bits and pieces of, of leftover materials are kind of piling up. I'm surrounded by all my favorite things to work with. I have some beads and buttons and I have, of course, my glues, my paint. And as you know, I have my friendly plastic bits and pieces left over. So what I thought we would do is incorporate some of the bits and pieces that you might have left over from your projects and make an embellishment for a vintage inspired ATC card. Now ATCs are artist trading cards and they're kind of like baseball cards for creative people. They're the size of a baseball card, they're easy to make, they're quick to make, they're small, and then you trade them with your friends. It's a lot of fun. It's also the perfect size to use up your bits and pieces of leftovers. So let me grab my bin here and I'm going to dig around. Now what I'm looking for is a piece of friendly plastic that is kind of light colored. So here's a piece that I have left over. It has some pink and green on it. I might use that. Oh, here's what I want to use. I want to use the silver. For this, for what I'm thinking of today, you'll want to use a piece that is light colored. So it could be silver or maybe the uh, chartreuse green, or maybe you would want to use gold. But a light color is what you're going to want to use for this project. Next, I've snipped a piece of the friendly plastic off. And what I want to do is I want to alter the color of the top of it just to give it a little visual interest. And I'm going to use some of my um, alcohol markers here. And I'm just going to kind of haphazardly color on random. Nothing too fancy. You don't have to be an artist. And let's see, this is a little bit of fresh green here. But the cool thing is, is where the two colors, when they come in contact with each other, they create a third color. So that just gives you a nice little bit of interest there. And I know it's a little hard to see, but I've got kind of a pink and green. Let's see here if I can get that. There you go. Just like that. Now, I'm going to use a little bit of nail polish. And this is an orangey color. It'll show through. But the reason I'm using nail polish, and you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but the cool thing about nail polish is it gives it kind of a seal. And so when you heat your friendly plastic, because you have this thick layer of nail polish over the top of it, it doesn't allow the plastic under it to move as much. And so it kind of helps preserve the shape a little bit. All I'm doing is just painting on a little heart. Because essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to shape this into kind of a scallop random kind of a altered looking heart shape. So I'm just going to kind of cut the sides off here, cut the corners off. You don't have to be precise. You don't have to be pretty with this. And then I'm going to cut a notch for the heart shape. I'm working on a little piece of sill pad on top of my work, my non-stick work surface here. And now it's time we're going to apply the heat. Basically, I'm just wanting to heat up the edges because I'm going to scallop those. And you'll know when it's ready to go when you can tap it and you put your fingerprint in it. So I'm going to lift it up off of our mat here. And I'm just going to pinch and pull the edges just to give them kind of a lacy effect. And remember, you can heat the plastic over and over again to get the shape that you like. I'm going to pull some of that color there. And you're going to keep working with this until you get the basic shape that you like. And I'm going to show you here on this piece that I have kind of as a work in progress. So 
After you get your heart shape, then what you're going to do is you're going to begin the collage process. So I've taken, taken uh, my ATC card here and I have uh, applied some decorative paper to the top of it. So you can use any, um, any decorative paper that you want. I also have some leftover cheesecloth. I love cheesecloth because I love the texture and I think with mixed media it's very important to add layers and layers and lots and lots of texture and you can see that this is kind of green here in parts too and what I've done is I've just gone over with my marker and I've colored that and that's awesome because that way you get colors that match your entire project. So I have layered the paper, then I've layered and glued down some of the cheesecloth. I've added a little bit of Angelina fibers, they're kind of hard to see, and they don't really show up a whole lot except when you um, kind of catch them in the light, they give a little bit of sparkle. And then over the top of that, I've glued down my heart embellishment here just with a little bit of tacky glue. So all I have left to do is glue some of my pearls and my beads and maybe wrap a little bit of wire and add a little tag maybe at the top and our project will be all finished. I find that I'm more creative when I am forcing myself to use what I already have in my studio or incorporate those bits and pieces of leftover friendly plastic and other materials into a project. It kind of gives me a little creative jolt. But if you need more creative inspiration, be sure to check us out on the web at friendlyplastic.blogspot.com. You're going to find a lot of free project tutorials, lots of tips and techniques, and a lot of eye candy to get you inspired. You can also check out more of our videos on our YouTube channel at Friendly Plastic TV, and be sure to go to Facebook and like our page. That's going to wrap it up for this episode. I'll be back again real soon to share more tips and tricks in working with friendly plastic. <music>